we all know about account and contact object. So what exactly is this person account object? How do we enable it? What is the significance of this object? What is the use of this object? Because as the name has account in it, does it means it is used same as that of the account object? Or is there any different use case for the person account object? To understand it, let's take a real time example over here. So let's understand that I have an XYZ company named as XYZ and we are providing a digital marketing experience or digital marketing services to the company named as Orange. So Orange is a company which I'm going to work with and provide the digital marketing ex services, right? So if I was using Salesforce as a CRM, I would have stored Orange as an account, right? Account, basically we, we, we basically use account to store the company information that is nothing but Orange in this case. Now, if they are going to use digital marketing services from me, from my company, basically, then in that case, there is going to be a lot more interaction between us, right? So in that case, let's say Orange has 5,000 employees. Not all these 5,000 employees are going to connect with me and talk to me, right? There is going to be a single dedicated person. Let's name it as Tejas. So Tejas is a person who is a single dedicated person going to go ahead and talk with me, right? He's going to the, he's going to be my go-to person, right? So he will be a point of contact for my XYZ company. And inside Salesforce, I'm going to store it as contact object, right? Tejas details, I'm going to store it within the contact object. This is very much, very much useful in case of business to business scenarios or B2B scenarios. Here, XYZ is my company and Orange is another company and I'm going to deal, a company is going to deal with another company and that's what we call business to business. And in such cases, this account and contact model works really, really good. But what if we are going to do business to customer kind of service? Let's understand it with an example. Let's say I have a hospital named as XYZ right and they just is my patient right so here this is a business to customer kind of a module xyz is a hospital tejas is a patient of this hospital now as tejas is not a employee or he does not relates to any kind of company so i'm not going to store it within account right and also i'm not going to store it within contact because if i store it within the contact then i don't know which account it is related to right so it does not make any sense at all if i store it within the contact as well and i can't store it within account because tejas is not a company so in such cases person account comes into the picture whenever we are going to do a scenario where we are going to do business to customer kind of a situation in such cases we use person account as an object so here, what happens at the back end is that, let's say business to customer, we are going to store Tejas details inside a person account object. But at the back end, what happens is the, uh, the account named as Tejas is also created and a contact named as Tejas is also created. And this account and contact are related to each other. So at the back end, same things is going to happen. A person account record gets created an account and the contact record also gets created at the back end. Now, next question is that, okay, that's fine. How do I enable this, right? Next question would be, how do I enable this person account inside my Salesforce org? Because if I go to my object manager right now, I will not be able to find person account. I won't be able to find. So how do I enable this person account? To enable this person account, what you need to do is you need to go through this following things. First, go to the home inside quick find search for person accounts. And inside person accounts, you might have few, I think so three steps, three or four steps are there that you need to take care of to enable the person account. So first of all, you need to do org impact acknowledgement, basically just checking whether there will be any kind of impact if I'm going to convert or I'm going to enable the person account. After that, what you need to do is you need to create an account record type. So you need to go to the account. You need to create a record type with any name, any name as per as you need, but it should have at least one record type so that you can convert it to a person account. Next, every uh, the profile that you're going to use, okay, must have a read permission over here. Okay, except following uh, profiles, Okay, the profiles that you are going to use must have at least read permission to the contact object. Okay, it must have contact uh, access uh, to the, sorry, it must have read access to the contact object. And once you do all these things, you can go ahead and enable the person account. Now, one more thing is that if you are going to enable the person account, you cannot disable it. This is a very important thing that if you turn on the person account, you won't be able to de uh, deactivate it. So if uh, if I can show somewhere, I think so it's not written somewhere, but yeah, as far as I know, if you enable it, you cannot disable the person account. Okay. So now once you create a person account, what exactly happens is this is how the overall looks look like. 
okay you are going to create a person account but one more important thing is that you want to have have the functionality to create uh, fields inside it to create a record type inside it uh, okay sorry not record type but button links and quick actions you cannot create it you cannot write a trigger and all this stuff you can see right now over here right it does not have any options at all but still if you want to create it like then the question would be how would i create it right if i am not having any option to create a field if i don't have an option to create a button and quick and quick link and action all this thing how would i do it to solve this problem what you do is you basically go and create the records or to create uh, buttons fields whatever you want inside the account object and that will be automatically available to you inside the person account object as well you just need to add it to that particular record type that you created while setting up the person account so this was all about the person account if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel